Hello, and welcome. I'm Zyndr, and welcome back to Feed the Beast. Uh, before we get started doing anything, you may have noticed that I haven't been uploading videos for about a week and a half or so. Uh, I put up the first episode of my Mark of the Ninja and stopped. Uh, pretty much the day after that, I had my browser pop up a noti notification. Ignore this, I'll explain this in a second. And... My ISP, starting next month, plans to do... I can't really call it a cap. Uh, what it is, is they're going to allow 200 gigs of bandwidth per month, and then for every 50 gigs over that, they'll charge an extra $10. So... Yeah, I basically was doing no uploading, trying to keep track of what was going on. Uh, looks like I might be... Depending on how much I use in a day, because... I'm going to probably exceed the 200 gigs, no problem. I have to pay extra. But, uh, yeah. That's pretty much that. I uh, thought it'd be nice if I gave you some kind of a warning. I'm um, still trying to upload episodes. Basically, uh, I have the traffic meter on my router on, and I'm going to use that to uh, track bandwidth, and then I'll probably do uploads on days with lower bandwidth usage. But, uh, look at this. Filled all those cells. And... Yeah. I went and got the dragon egg, and I did a lot of building. First of all, I used redstone and the Tome of Alkestri. Or... I'm just going to say it Alkestri, because it makes the most sense. I'm probably going to replace the last of this with endstone as well. I wanted it from the outside to look more or less like an inconspicuous mountain or something. I mean, this fence kind of gives that away, but that fence is there to stop mobs from dive-bombing me. Uh, oh, you cheeky Enderman. <sighs> but uh, on the inside, I figured I've got this whole kind of like space-age technology look going on with my buildings. And so I figured, why not put endstone? Looks like maybe I'm building on the moon or something. Unless I look up too much, but... It doesn't look horribly terrible. And, yeah. But, uh... This is my mistcraft slash portals room. This is an unplanned room. Uh, it's planned, but it's unplanned. If that makes any sense. Uh, there's a lot of uh, wrath lamps around. It's not enough. I'm mean, going to have to worry about that later, though. Uh, this is still doing what it's doing. Put this in here to get more dark iron. That's my turtle. I didn't make a new turtle. I probably should have. But, uh, I can only power six engines. I think I've been over this, but I actually forget what I've been over. This can only power six, so, yeah. Uh, other than that, I'm kind of running out of ideal, I ideals, ideas a bit. Uh, this room right here is basically pre-planned for Thomcraft. And I went through here and I, uh... You know, I, I went through and I started building walls up so things would look more complete, more realistic. Not realistic. Hardly realistic, but, uh, you know what I mean. But, uh... I'm reaching the point... Ignore this. This is me cooking up basalt. Uh, because you will notice that the entirety of the inside is complete and this was a water tank because uh, I needed water for the construction foam. Um, oh, I did so well at not saying um for a while and then all of a sudden I realized I'm saying um. But anyhow, I've got a lot of materials in here and the reason for that is, uh, speaking of which, I moved the computer up here I had to redo the code on the machine. Oh, right over here. I made a third mining world. This one is an extreme hills biome. And uh, I've created a machine that when running can even lag me on single player. Okay, so this is a gigantic hole for a fresh new world. Have I been in there? I have definitely been in there. Uh, I think this is the way I went. I had previously, like, already preloaded the chunks before. Okay, now, you'll notice the little end bit here. And I'm going to fly up, and I'm going to show you my monstrosity. 
This thing, as it currently stands, is four blocks this way and 57 this way. 228 blocks at a time. I had to double the solar panels on here in order to keep this thing powered through its mining segments. Uh, I cut down on the wiring, but it can only move one direction now, which doesn't really matter. That's kind of irrelevant in my opinion. But uh, I utilized all the uh, the receivers to set this up quickly and easily and be able to get things going. I have two batteries here just because I'm not entirely sure how much power it's going to take to move. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward and it's, yeah, it's insane is what it is. Uh, which one of these buttons does what? That is night vision. Oh, well. Now my helmet's on. Ooh, helmet. Uh, one of these buttons. Oh, it's, it's on my keyboard. Let's just break the system again. So this was more of meant as an update episode, but uh, I'll see. I can't. Let's basically just go down through the list of mods, figure out what I haven't messed with. Maybe I will kill uh, the Wither on here. I could always do it in crap gear or whatever, but I, because of the whole bandwidth limitation thing, I'm trying to pick and choose what I upload now. I should be able to still continue Mark of the Ninja. The first episode was 100 megabytes, so... But I didn't want to upload anything while I was tracking things. So I'll definitely finish that out. Uh, I'll probably try and just do that, you know, one a day because why not? Uh, I'll probably start that tomorrow. It's 2.16 in the morning right now. But, uh, yeah. There's, I don't think there's a whole lot of things. Why are these under their own category? Thermal expansion, you cheaty bastard. Um... Gonna go through Thomcraft next, I think. I have got so many shards and materials and stuff. Speaking of shards, that reminds me. I think I have it in here. I used a... I don't know whether it's a bug or if it's intentional or what. Basically, I made a whole bunch of soul shards, and I actually have some more that was cooking up inside of here. So, yeah, there's just 33 go get, you know, one level one on it, and then you just keep combining them in an anvil, yeah, it costs a bunch of experience, but you make a 1,024 shard, tier 5, no problem. Uh, the reason why I haven't placed the Wither Skeleton shard is because of the one singular fact of, last I knew, breaking a soul cage that has a Wither Skeleton shard in it will instantly convert it to a normal skeleton shard. So, yeah. Don't want to fuck with that. I suppose if I really wanted to, I could try and get into bees. But, personally, I'm not a huge fan of the bees. There's really no reason for me to go into a nuclear system now. I think I may have kind of exhausted this world a bit. Because, I mean, I could try factorization, but to be honest... Uh, like routers and stuff, or something I'd want to do on a new world, I think. Because I've already got applied energistics. But I have some ideas of what I can do, as well as the fact that uh, newer versions of Minecraft have some extra little toys and stuff I can play with. Uh, some of them, I believe, have power converters. I don't know if that mod's going to stay in it or what. Uh, Mine Factory Reloaded, which does some things, and sometimes not a whole lot of things, but I've kind of exhausted the majority of things I can do. Uh, so, this, I, I don't know, I might have actually just ran out of things to do in this world, but... Maybe that's because I rushed things too much. That's probably what happened. I rushed too much to get too many things done. And... Ended up doing... 
a majority of the things. I don't know. Maybe what I'll do is uh, I'll wait. This right here, I had to put this in because it was literally just clogging my system so hard. Look at this. I have almost three 64K storages full. I have 50,555 iron. I have 70,500 rubber. 80,500 coal. Like, this is just completely overkill. And look how many aluminum blocks I've used throughout this whole thing. I've literally just been building and building and building with aluminum, and I still have so many blocks. It is ridiculous. Same with the lead. So, yeah. I guess that's a majority of that, and you can tell I'm only using three things here, and I moved it over by my bed. Uh, I mean... If you want, give me some ideas on things I can do, but I'm I've kind of started running out of ideas. Uh, things to do for the next... Because I know there's going to be a new season of Feed the Beast eventually. But my plans for that season are probably going to revolve around... Uh, probably power converters. Uh, probably going to... If I use steam power, I'm probably going to try and do it using like biofuel or something. Or maybe I'll just use biofuel, or who knows. I uh, want to play around with factorization more. It can really... It, it can give you a ton of output on your ores, but it can take so long to do it. And then it has its own power system as well. Which, the power converters mod would actually allow me to bypass their power system and run my whole base off of one thing without too many extra things. That was kind of confusing and ridiculous to say. But, uh... I don't know. The power converters mod is interesting, to say the least, but it feels kind of overpowered at times. But it also kind of makes things even, in my opinion. Uh, but and Then there's always Galacticraft, which has been working its way into some mods. See, I'm not sure what else I want to do here. I mean, everything else I want to do, I think, mostly requires nether stars. I had this here because I was using this to make... What was I using it to make? I don't even know. It's something I had to make it... Oh, yeah, I was using it to make this construction foam. Derp. But, uh... Yeah, I think that pretty much covers everything I wanted to talk about. This was meant mostly as an update for why I haven't been uploading for one. Because I know I... There's been times in the past where I just stopped. And I know that if you watched my Mark of the Ninja, I said that I was going to be updating... or uploading Alan Wake videos. And... yet... I pretty much got a whole wrench thrown in the system what I was planning on doing. Look at this. I got some rainbow oaks. These things look amazing. Uh... So, yeah, I kind of got a huge wrench thrown in the system of what I was planning on doing. Whoo. Hey, do you seem like you, you really don't have any lighting? Now you just have really weird coloring. I know it's a rainbow oak. Hey. But that didn't turn out quite the way I was hoping it would. But... Yeah, I've also changed the map I'm using to the voxel map, which means you also get I get the different menu because I put this in. So, yeah, but uh, I've had numerous issues. Wrath lamps, they're good for a wide area, but one, their style doesn't really match in. You can't put them in any places where you don't want people to be able to see around the blocks. And then there's the fact that uh, the way they do their lighting, they have basically invisible light blocks that sometimes considered taking up space. It was preventing me from placing construction foam at times. So it's good, but it's annoying. I'd really like to have a good router set up at some point. But like I said, that's going to be in the list of things I'll probably try and do in the next season, whenever that comes. I don't know if I'll do 1.5.2, 1.5.3, 1.5.4, 1.5.5, 1.5.6, 1.5.7, 1.5.8, 1.5.9, 1.5.10, 1.5.11, 1.5.12, 1.5.
or if I'll just wait for uh, 1.6, try and throw together a mod pack as things come out, you know, add more stuff to it. It wouldn't really be Feed the Beast anymore, it'd be modded Minecraft, but, you know, feel free to let me know what you think about that. In the meantime, I think I've covered everything I wanted to for this, for this uh, episode, so uh, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.